Okay, during the uh, RV service net this morning, uh, Sam asked me about the program I use for logging, or maybe I brought it up, but I thought I'd do a quick uh, demo of it. It's called MacLogger DX. Uh, you can see my pointer on the screen. Uh, it pulls the frequency from the uh, rig, uh, and uh, when I type in a call sign like... Uh, N4FOH and hit enter, it automatically looks sunny up for me. And uh, if I then go in and adjust the uh, uh, report to say 59 and 59, I can click on log QSO and, and it's done. That, uh, that happens automatically and it also sends it to QRZ.com and it also sends it to Logbook of the World so that my contact has been recorded on my computer and my electronic logbook, and it has been recorded other places. But this program does a lot more than just that. Uh, for example, I can switch over to maps and I can uh, enter uh, somebody like N4FOH, and it'll immediately show me where they are and which direction the beam would be pointed to get to them. Or if I enter someone like WA4ICK, if I type right, uh, it does the same thing and adjusts the, uh, the map over. You can have a, a 3D globe uh, map, or you can have a 2 degree map, or you can go to the World Wide Web, and um, when you enter them, it'll automatically look them up and give you a map spot for where they are. So it's very handy, but it does other things. It has a listing of the bands and the activities on the band, so you can see uh, which bands are open and uh, where the stations are coming from. It has an automatic DX cluster, which I log into, and if I turn on my auto tune and my auto log, then as stations are recognized through the DX cluster, uh, <clears throat> it'll type them in down here, show me who they are and what's going on with that contact, whether they're calling CQ or working a pileup or whatever comment uh, the person wants to make and uh, they can also uh, set it back to map and uh, watch the uh, globe spin and see where the activities are coming from so that works out quite well and then you can also use the scheduling program to schedule uh, to listen to various stations you can set it up to uh, record uh, content for a period of time if you want to listen to shortwave but you're not up in the middle of the night you can have it do that automatically for you it'll track your awards so that uh, you know where you are with DXCC or worked all states or CQ uh, WAZ or IOTA or VUCC all of those are built in also has a contest mode has memory set up so that if you have stations that are your favorite frequencies to go to you can use that to, uh, to automatically uh, click and go to those stations by, by frequency. It also has a QSL function so that you can send QSL cards out directly from the computer and uh, keeps a history of all of your recent contacts and the people that have come in. You'll notice that as it's logging contacts and changing the frequency to track those contacts, it also shows you the information from the uh, QRZ.com page the main picture uh, that the uh, operator has associated with it. And if you want to go out and work on a st stack of QSL cards and print labels, it even has a label printing function that uh, is tied to the, uh, the database of contacts that you've made and logged. So it's a very, very cool program. I uh, have a lot of fun with it, and uh, it uh, makes the whole process of uh, operating uh, the radio and uh, working... Uh, uh, both logging uh, for a net uh, type operation or logging for DX uh, type operations very easy saves a lot of time takes a lot of the drudgery out of it and it makes the whole experience richer because you have more information in front of you each time you log a contact so I know I went fast through this but it's Mac Logger DX and it's uh, kind of the Swiss army knife of uh, uh, logging programs for the uh, Macintosh computer Okay, hopefully, Sam, that's a quick rundown and an explanation of what it does. Uh, 
the logging program can control the radio or the radio can control the logging program. You can even turn the beam and change bands if you set it up to do all of that. And I'll show you what happens when you click on one of these images. It becomes larger and you get to see exactly what uh, that picture shows in terms of that particular station. In this case, 086JJ. Okay, you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.